I know I say this a lot, but this time around, I'm gonna have to say, like, I truly am a fucking idiot. This isn't, like, some, like, weird confession video or something, but it, uh, well, kind of confessing to being a fucking idiot. I've made this mistake before, and I think that's why I'm the angriest with myself right now. I'll just, uh, I'll show you if you haven't already seen it. Uh, I actually had a video with virtually the same exact thumbnail. It's a busted-ass phone with me just sitting in the background with a pouting face like a moron. Like, I'm surprised that it's actually broken or something. As you could see uh my phone is absolutely destroyed there's nothing i can do it is unusable there's nothing i can do what happened you say well the last time i uh, what what the fuck did this guy just die by what is that this guy just got killed by a white box do not look up to anything that i do do not repeat anything that i do it's just fucking stupid absolutely stupid i'm a 22 year old man that still gets frustrated over like just stupid ass little video games it is so sad and i'm so mad at myself right now i could just fucking beat my ass this guy just got killed by another box so i'm gonna give you the rundown this is another league of legends story and then all a lot of people are like, well, this would be a lot more fitting if you actually played League of Legends in the background for your videos instead of playing Call of Duty while you talk about League of Legends. Well, I don't record League of Legends, and that's probably one of the reasons. It's just very bad, and it's just, I play like shit. I'm fucking garbage, okay? Earlier today, my account, I was gold three. And gold three in the whole, like, ranked spectrum of League of Legends is like, it's like, this is a rank that you could get if you just played ranked on a normal basis. There's only two ranks below that, which are silver and bronze, which are basically, like, the most casual players in the world. Or just people that just have, like, some recurring problem that just have them stuck there. That's basically every single division in the game, but just some are more extreme than others. So I was a mid gold player. I was on my way to get into platinum, which is the next one. Once you got into platinum, it was just kind of like, all right, well, you're not that great, but you're above average now. You're pretty serious about the game. You're like in the middle now. So I was gold three. And the reason I say was, was because, well, I just for over the past, I don't know, three or four days, I've just been having these awful, awful, awful losing streaks. And eventually if you lose enough more often than you would win, you end up getting demoted. And vice versa. You would end up getting, you know, promoted if you ended up winning more than you were losing. I was just having very, very bad days. I would say over my past 20 to 30 games, I probably won 10 of them. Yeah, I would say 10 out of 30. I've won. This has been really bad for me over the past few days. And today I received a loss in the most annoying fashion I have ever received a loss in. Not only was my team talking shit to me. I mean, I was talking shit back. I'll defend myself. I ain't gonna sit there and be no one's punching bag. This is the internet. I have the biggest muscles in the world. I'm gonna talk that shit. I'm a nice guy, but when it comes to actually typing, especially in League of Legends to complete strangers that don't respect you worth a shit, I'm gonna go in. I ended up losing this game where I was just talking shit to the enemy team. My team was trashing me. There's it was basically 9v1. There's 10 people in the game. It was 9v1. I was alone. I was just talking shit to everybody. Everybody was talking shit to me. That's why I was defending myself. Now, a lot of people will be like, oh, well, I mean, if you had nine people turned against you, well, it's probably your fault. You're probably being pretty toxic. And the thing is, all of these people were in parties together. The four people on my team were all together, and the five people on the other team were all together. So obviously, when the people on my team started complaining, they're not going to go against each other because they're all in a party, and then they just ganged up on me. I started talking shit to them. They go into all chat where you can speak to the enemy team and they're like yo report this guy and i went into all chat to try to you know defend myself say my case here so everybody doesn't burn me at the stake and with me trying to defend myself i made myself in turn look more suspicious so then the one guy over there was just like i don't really believe you man i actually think you're pretty toxic why would four people say that you're toxic how why would i even believe you you're fucking right there's nothing that i can do about it you know what just fucking report me i'm the sole reason that my team lost clearly which i mean i wasn't but i just took the blame i just took the whole thing on and then they all started talking massive amounts of shit to me which is fine i can take it i'm on the internet i know that there are people that talk shit but the problem was that it was just this built up anger knowing that if i had lost this game i was going to be demoted we were winning this game then we lost it and then it was apparently all my fault not by just my team but the enemy team as well hanging up on me it just all culminated into me well i just decided to get up i took this knife okay and at first it was kind of like a joke right i promise i'm not a psychopath i promise i'm gonna put the knives away now though i just have this one strand of hair that keeps hanging down here like anime style i'm leaving it dude it just keeps coming back so i did so i decided to take this big ass knife right and i turned and looked back and took one of these little gamma shaker things all the gamma tubs over there that are on the dresser are completely empty i drank all of them. i decided i was like okay i just need to take my anger out a little bit and i decided to put this down here and instead of like smashing my keyboard like risk and breaking something like that i decided to take just like a worthless little inanimate object for some odd reason i don't know what happened i swung with so much force at this thing. I actually think I completely missed because I don't see any marks on the edges of this at all. There are no marks. It's perfect. I had it right there next to my phone. And when I swung, I guess I like closed my eyes at the same time and boom, I hit my phone. And that's what the slice is from. 
This guy just fucking... Okay, so apparently getting killed by the sword is the white box. That's actually obnoxious. The other dents are now me trying to pry my SIM card because I just so happened to hit it where the SIM card was. And now the SIM card is stuck underneath of the screen where it's broken and I can't eject it. So now when I get another phone, I'm hoping to be able to actually pry my SIM card out of this thing eventually. I think I've actually had like two or three full videos of me having a broken phone. I mean, were they all my fault though? A couple of them were a little, you know, freak accidents. But this one, yes, is completely my fault. I take responsibility. I'm a fucking moron. I'm not gonna have an alarm to wake up either. We depend so much on our phones because they just do so much for us that when you lose it, you lose so much. Why do I always break these? Like, it would be the dumbest, dumbest, dumbest thing in the world if I purposefully actually broke this thing. But the fact that I just swung like a fucking idiot and accidentally hit it. I think I'm gonna be putting these knives away for a while. And never again am I gonna try to go like Samurai Jack like ever fucking did. It's awesome. I'll collect them. I will not wield them. Except that katana. I fucking love that katana. I'm never letting that katana go. I'm just saying.